Hi, my name is Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, the Blue Tonic Winter Challenge is back. Awaken your blue mind, which we started last year. And I think there are about 60 different activities you could do. Well, it's bigger and better this year. There are 80 activities you can do covering all sorts of things from things like bird watching, stone skimming, stone plopping, um, picnicking by water, taking a boat trip, reading by water. There's so many different things to choose from, whether it's creative or active. You don't need to be particularly fit. It doesn't have to cost any money and anybody can get involved. The idea is to pick 21 challenges from the list, which is absolutely full of links and tips as to how to do them, and then do one per week over the time that the clocks have changed. So over the winter period, it could be something that's really cool for yourself a friend, the family, to really perk up your winter and give you something to focus on. The idea is to boost your mental health by being in and around blue spaces. When you first get onto the challenge uh, resource document, it's going to tell you a little bit about the challenge, a little bit about the journal, and it's also going to show you about the Facebook group. The challenges are split into several areas. We've got around the water, on the water, in the water, and at home. There's 80 challenges spread across the whole lot, so there's plenty to choose from, and they're all connected to the five ways of well-being. Let's take a little look. So around the water, under connect, you could invite a friend to go for a packed breakfast or lunch at a blue space that you know. It's a really great way to share your love of water and just to have a chilled out start or mid part of the day. It could really give your day a boost to be active. So we could go rock pooling, explore the hidden world of the sea's fascinating creatures and we've even got a link in there to help you to find out a little bit more about what you're looking at when you're rock pooling. On the water, if we look at take notice, you could do something like taking a ferry trip or a boat trip, getting a look at the environment from a different side. It's always so different seeing the land from the water because we're so used to standing on the water's edge and looking outwards. It really gives you a different perspective and it can be a really calming experience and fascinating as well. So that's one that we could do. Moving down to in the water, looking at learn, we could find out about the current or tide or, or, or the shoreline where you're thinking of swimming, understand what's happening with water and really get a feel for how to make safe decisions in and around the water. At home, we could do something like uh, on learning, we could watch a Blue Panic documentary or read The Blue Mind by Wallace J. Nichols, which is what the whole of the Blue Tonic charity is based on. So it would really give you a good, a good insight. And under Give, there on In the Water, you could do an in-water litter pick, which you could do if you were snorkeling or swimming, or perhaps even you could do an on the water litter pick from a kayak or something. Now that you've got a flavour of the challenges involved, here's a sneak peek of the journal. There's an info page about how to use it and the idea is to download it and make a copy so you can get cracking doing the challenges and filling it in. It's just for your own reflections. You can add in a photo, you can write down what you got up to and you know, write down how you felt about it, what the weather was like, what you enjoyed about it and anything you really think might be useful to help you remember it. And at the end of the 21 challenges, you're going to have a cracking keepsake to look back on to see how you spent your winter. The final thing you'll get is a sew-on badge. One of the Blue Tonic challenges is to do an echo. It costs just £10 for an individual or £20 for a family of four to get involved with the challenge and your entry fee gets you the list of challenges and also access to the online ebook. If this sounds like something that might float your boat, take a look in the links below to get involved. Find out more information and uh, pay up and join us. We'd love to have you along. We'd also like to see what you're getting up to and take inspiration from your choice of challenge via the Facebook group. Come on, get involved. 